Okay, let's go for question number 44. Three boys and two girls stand in a queue. The probability that the number of boys ahead of every girl is at least one more than the number of girls ahead of her is. Let's consider there is a queue with five persons. Now facing up. We cannot say a girl is sitting here because it reads that ahead of every girl there is at least one more than the number of girls ahead of her. So the question says the probability that the number of boys ahead of every girl is at least one more than the number of girls. So it should be started from the last term. Let's say one girl is sitting here. Now the next girl can be placed at any of these three positions. So the possibility is 2C1, we can select one girl for this last position into 3C1, one position from these three for the second girl into factorial 3. Correct? Next possibility. If suppose the first girl sits here. Next girl should be at any of these two positions as per the given constraint. So this time 2C1 into 2C1 into factorial 3. So these are the favorable cases which gives me 6, 3 is 18, 2 is 36 plus 24 that is 60. Total number of cases 5 total numbers that is factorial 5 ways. So the required probability is 60 upon 120 that is half. So the correct answer is option A. Let's go for the next one. The quadratic equation px equals 0 with real coefficients has purely imaginary roots. The equation p of px equals 0 has. Now equation px equals 0 has purely imaginary roots. Means if we look at the parabola y equals px, it will be opening either upwards or downwards means px will be either positive or negative for any x p of some positive number or p of some negative number cannot be zero means it cannot have real roots so the option a says only purely imaginary roots this term purely we need to understand purely imaginary means it should be of the form zero plus k iota means real part should be zero which is not a necessity for it. So it can have mixed numbers as well like a plus iota p. So the number of roots we can say the solution set for it neither real nor purely imaginary number. It can be a mixed complex number. Correct. Let's go for the next one.